faith produces results in the life of believers you know and that's what we are trusting the Lord for to actually help us to cultivate this kind of faith and trust in him so that he can produce this kind of uh, reward that we are seeing say he is the rewarder and it shows that if a man has faith in Christ God will not disappoint him God is a rewarder only those who of all only those who seek him and it is faith that produces you know diligence the life of you know of diligence you know in, in, in the life of a believer without faith we can't be diligent in our serving God it is faith that creates that eagerness that heinousness in us for us to be able to seek him not only seek but diligently now so without faith we can't actually see God with all our heart diligent you know and without that there may not be reward so our prayer is that the Lord today we help us he will help us he will help the level of our faith and in the name of Jesus Christ so today I will read just one verse again because I see just two uh, points of emphasis uh, for us today as we um, go ahead uh, in our studies uh, today and that is exactly in verse 7 so let's quickly read verse 7 of Hebrews chapter 11 and we will quickly mm, uh, highlight or, or emphasize those two uh, points then we will pray for today now verse 7 says by faith uh, Noah being warned of God of things not seen as yet moved with prepare an ark to the saving of his house by the which he condemned the world and became here of the righteousness which is by faith by faith Noah then conclusion says he became here of righteousness by faith hallelujah now we have con we have considered some other people and we are considering Noah today as one of the great men if you have read book of Genesis uh, you will have uh, come across uh, this character before um, one of the first people that lived uh, in in the world according to the Bible account and uh, one of those people that God used to raise the first people the first uh, 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 tribes that we have on earth today well, one of the progenitors of where the every uh, tribe of the world is actually uh, divided today so is is one is a major progenitor of uh, of 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 human race so and if you read the story very well you will remember that there was a time the lord I mean god was fed up with what was going on on the then world and he wanted to wipe everything out but he found this man called Noah and he instructed him that he should build an ark that his God was going to wipe the whole earth away by the flood and Noah responded and he was able to save himself and maybe seven of his household uh, and then um, that was how the world was preserved and so through those people and the, the every other woman race now God began to raise men again uh, as a result of those people that were preserved by Noah a 
according to the account that we see in the book of Genesis so and that's what made Noah to make uh, the list of the heroes of faith but we are looking at what really made Noah to be able to do this now we are not actually looking at what Noah did you know we were able to read it you know can read it on the surface when you but the writer of Hebrew is actually opening our eyes to see what actually propelled Noah to do this great feat to do something like this that will not make the whole world to forget Noah in a hurry what actually uh, you know propelled him and remember that we have said you, you know we are, are beginning to see that faith is a propeller is a propelling force is something that look at it the Bible says concerning Abel in verse 4 he said Abel offered unto God a more excellent sacrifice he offered a more excellent sacrifice and the NIV says a better a better sacrifice he said he offered a better sacrifice that was what uh, uh, the NIV Bible you know says there more the KJV now says a more excellent so it was faith that propelled that made him to to be able you know to do that and we are seeing Noah today the Bible says that by faith when warned about things not yet seen in holy fear he built an ark to save his family look at that he built what he built an ark to save his family and but you see one thing that propelled him that we are looking here is what by faith see faith the bible say when god warned him about things that yet not seen god said look <clears throat> flood is coming and it will wipe the entire world you know one will have looked at it what kind of a flood would that be that god will bring to wipe everything out and god said you build an ark and i'm going to save you tell the people to come in those who respond no problem they will be saved uh -uh. And the Bible say by faith, God just warned him. That thing has never happened. There was no cloud. There was no drop of any water. Nothing. I don't know how long. Maybe if we read Genesis again, we'll know how long that it took him to build the ark. And after he finished the ark, and then how long the 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 ark stayed before the Lord finally brought the flood. But this man responded, not seeing it, not yet seeing what was going to happen. But because God has said it, go and build an ark. Uh -uh. Somebody just built an ark and left it there, and the thing is just there, waiting. And people will have said, when will your flood come? Your heart is still there and no flood. But the Bible says, God just warned him. And by faith, the Bible says he was in holy fear. He built that ark to do what? To save his family. And now when you read from the KJV, it says he, by, he was moved with what? with fear look at kjv here let me quickly read the kjv that i read initial he said he said by being warned of god of things not yet seen as yet moved with fear look at he said he was moved 
with fear. And this one says, prepared an ark to the saving of his house. So he was moved with fear. The other one says, with holy fear. Now, two things I want to quickly emphasize, just like I said, and those are the two words. Fear, which the NIV call holy fear. Now, so that somebody will not begin to say, there is no fear in faith now. How can somebody again now become afraid when you say he has faith? But now, look at this now. There is a fear that faith creates in somebody that is called holy fear. According to what we have seen in the Bible here. This one says, was moved with fear. Then he said, the other one says, with holy fear, he responded. Now you see that, so faith, there is no fear in faith, yes. But there is a level of fear that faith creates in you that is called holy fear, that makes you to respond promptly and swiftly to the word of God. Look at that, the Bible says he was moved. He didn't see what was about to happen, but he was moved with what? Fear, with Holy fear. So there is a level of faith, I mean, a level of fear that is called good fear, holy fear. You know, that spirit that moves you to respond swiftly and promptly to the Word of God without delay. It is faith in us that makes us to respond to what God has said without delay. That is what is called holy fear. That ah, God has spoken. It is not the kind of fear that, you know, a fear of a, 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 a negative fear. That ah, if I don't do this, he will kill me. If not because he has forced me. If not because he can kill somebody. I wouldn't have done. Mm -mm. But the kind of a holy fear that that emanates out of uh, a relationship be, that is based on faith in Christ, in God. That I so much cherish my father so much that whatever he says, I move with what? With speed. That whenever he speaks, I move with, with what? every swiftness and you know promptness in me it is faith that makes you to respond rapidly to the things of god so when we drag our feet to the things of god we to check the level of our faith it is faith that moves a man with only fear to respond to what God has said. You know, it is faith that makes it, you know, impossible for you to trivialize the word of God. You know, when we hear the word of God at times, we trivialize it. Who has spoken? The person who has spoken with it, we do not even see him. So how are we sure that what he has said is actually correct? But you see, when there is faith, we don't care. Bible say, he say, but being warned of God of things not seen, he didn't see. Even the person that even spoke, I doubt whether he saw God, he saw him physically. He didn't see the speaker. He didn't see what was said, but he moved with speed. That is faith. My prayer is that may God create this kind of faith to trust the Lord to the extent that we move with speed to respond to his instructions. The faith that makes us to move with speed, with uh, swiftness, you know, to move with, to, to respond rapidly to his, his word, his instruction. That's the kind of faith that we saw, you know, it will see in the life of Noah here. Now, it is faith 
that motivates rapid response and obedience to God's word. You know, that no wonder it says without faith it is impossible to please him. So when there is faith in us, we it pushes us to respond rapidly. They, they, like I said it at first the other time that it motivates us to respond diligently. That without faith, it is impossible. It is the reward of those them that seek him diligently. It didn't say those who just seek him. Because faith will make you to be diligent. Now this one also faith creates you know rapid obedience, rapid response to the things of God. I am praying that God will create this holy fear that He created in the life in the life uh, of Noah that made him to be able to respond with this holy fear, as if it's happening now. And He started building. He started building. He started doing that. Now, the second word I like to emphasize: the Bible says uh, He prepared an ark to the saving of his house he prepared the other one says he built you know an act to save his household you know now you see obedience when we are talking about before i emphasize on that you know as we were saying talking about this he moved by fear that we respond it is faith that make us to respond rapidly you know to the things of god so therefore we can conclude here that disobedience is lack of what of faith so that means when we disobey the word of god simply put we don't have faith in god then we say how quick we respond to god's instruction tells us the level of our faith in him if we re- if our response to the things of god or to god himself is slow that's an indication that our faith is what is very low the if our response to the things of god is very very what is very strong is very very swift it shows that we have a good level of faith but if there is no response at all, that means lack of faith in God. So how swift, how quick is your response to the things of God, to the word of God, to the things of the kingdom? Is it very sluggish? Is it very slow? Is it swift? Or no response at all? You need to judge for yourself whether you are a man of faith. You know, and it is that faith that moved Noah to be able to do what to prepare for the future. <clears throat> now, you see, he prepare an ark. Bible say he prepare an ark to save, you know, his family. Thank God for Noah that was able to do that. What will have happened? Does it mean that God will now begin to create men all over, create the another a set of people all over again but you see Noah moved by faith God was able to find a man in that generation by faith every generation requires faith requires God you know God needs a man of faith for every generation he saved his family and he was able to save the world. Maybe God is counting on you to save your family, your immediate family. And then you save the, the immediate environment. But you see, you, he saved, he built that ark by faith to be able to do what to save. Me. It is by faith that we can do what we, what we save men, what he creates shelter for people, and what will make our universe better. Now, you see, he prepared an act. So faith propels him to do what? To prepare. 
to build, to build the future, to prepare for the what it was, you know, for the future. Now it is faith who did that. Now preparation by faith. Let us get this clear. Is different from desperation. Noah didn't build the ark out of desperation. Uh-uh. He was not so desperate, not that he was desperate to save his family or to save people. Uh-huh. He was responding by what? By faith. Because God has spoken. Because no matter how desperate he is, uh-huh. if God did not tell him, or if he didn't have faith in God that this thing I'm going to build, God will use it to save us. It will still be wiped off. So it's not that he was doing that out of desperation, that he was so desperate to do something or to make history or to be popular, to become a rich man. Mm-mm. If all along that he was doing, he never knew that we will be reading about him today, thousands of years back. He never knew that his name will be among the heroes of faith today. He never knew. So he didn't do it out of desperation or to make name. Just like some of us will do things out of desperation. Desperation is different from faith. You know, faith prepare. I mean, faith prepares you to prepare for your future. It prepares you to build a glorious future. It is not what it is different from desperation, a mere desperation that somebody is just desperate. You just want to do things. You want to make name. It's just running up and down. No, that is not what Noah did here. He wasn't building the ark out of desperation or out of fear of the unknown. That's not like several people will build things, will make preparation. They will say, let's build this, let's build that. We don't know what will happen tomorrow. Uh, we don't know what uh, we uh, is going to... Mm-mm. It's not, it wasn't desperate about the future. But he was preparing for the future. Out of what? Out of faith. Faith is propels and faith propels preparation. It propels you to be prepared. It's not that you are you are desperate just to achieve things, to be an achiever. Not that you want to do it with no, but faith makes you to go out of it with, uh, by in your pace, and as you are trusting the Lord. He guarantees you what? A glorious, a glorious future. So, faith is not what? It's not a desperation of the unknown. It's not what, I mean, prepare you to be desperate. No. But what makes you to prepare, you know, for the future? It's an assurance. It creates an assurance in you. And which moves you towards a, a, a promised, you know, secure future. And those who have faith are not desperate about anything. Take note of that. That's how you know people who have faith in God. They are not desperate about things, about positions, about material things, about money about getting things done about becoming great or becoming popular or you know uh, arriving earlier than necessary they are not desperate about that they are not desperate uh, that hey people are going ahead of me they are not desperate to get to what uh, where other people are already have gotten to ahead of them they are not desperate about that you know about they are not desperate about anything but they prepare they prepare and act according to the word of god so today by the special grace of god we shall stop here two things faith 
moved you with i mean uh, with a, a an holy fear faith makes you to move with holy fear to do things to respond swiftly to the things of god it is faith that prepares us to move that that prepares rapid obedience to the things of god then lastly faith makes us to prepare for the future to people to, to prepare for the secured promised for the promised for what has been promised they will keep preparing for it god has said you are going to be great then you prepare for it by faith you do whatever you need to do not out of desperation everybody is everybody is running to get money quick 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 you say no he has promised i'm going to get it i'm going to get to the top by the special grace of god he has promised but i'm not going to go through shortcuts i'm not going to go through the means that people go through out of desperation he say ah things that you have to do this you have to run you have to meet you have you know no. he say no i'm walking by faith not by sight so a man of faith is not desperate to get things done that's what we have learned but it prepares you know it prepares because it's very sure that that we would that has promised we bring it you know to past so he prepared and act according to what the lord has said i want to leave this with you today our listeners what is your level of response to the things of god is it very very rapid or slow or you don't respond at all then you can call yourself a man or a woman of faith let faith rise in you today then are you desperate to get things done by all means you don't need to do that what you need is to allow the faith in god faith in christ to help you prepare do what you can do trust in god don't be desperate at all to get rich to get money to get whatever to get position to get power you don't need to do that remove desperation let faith rise in you and prepare you and prepare you for the future that god has prepared for you may the almighty god be with you his face shine upon you in the name of jesus christ do have a great time till next time that we shall meet we will also continue in the next verse remain blessed